any idea of the value of the formula you carry in your mind? It may well prove the salvation of the world. Salvation of the world? Yours is no ordinary mind. In your incredible brain lies the combined mathematical genius of Descartes, Newton, Da Vinci, Einstein. All those kids? Tell me more. Better than that, I'll show you. Come. You heard the man said, come. Oh, God save them. Hey, look, a school for television repairmen. I've seen high five, but gee, this is ridiculous. Now, if you'll take up your position by the window. Gentlemen, you are witnessing the third echelon in operation. Hey, is that Roman candle for real? In that rocket, we are about to send two animals around the moon. And if we succeed, we shall next send two men and from the moon. From that point of impenetrable power, I shall go before the United Nations and demand that they accede to our total and absolute control. I think he rolls his own. Please be serious. Now, we've made a bargain. Without the fuel formula in Babcock's mind, we can't be certain of success. Now, please, please cooperate. And without any further delay. Say, Mr. Rich, uh, I don't want to sound silly or anything, and I know it's a little ridiculous, but supposing the memory crackers don't work, what happens then? I'd rather not discuss that. Yeah, that makes two of us. Well, I'll be seeing you. Here, now, don't be a fool. Oh, 25 no. G's in there. Mr. Babcock, if you leave now, you'll be running out on your fellow man. That still leaves my fellow women, Chester. Don't tell me you're going to chicken out now. If necessary, I'll grow feathers. You might, if nothing else, think of your country. Oh. Chester, search your secret soul. Ask your patriotic conscience what to do. I already did. What did it say? Yankee, go home. You two can stay if you want, but I'm going back. I'm going back to Hong Kong. I'm going back to New York. I'm going... Where are you going? Back and tell them the formula. Still nothing? Don't feel a thing. See, you worked beautiful yesterday. Come on, roll out the gangplank one more time now, will you? Relax. Don't get panicky, apprehensive, nervous, anxious, or frightened. I'm not panicky, apprehensive, nervous, anxious, or frightened. Good. I'm petrified. Tea, sir. Ordinary Indian tea. Yeah, but very refreshing in a hot climate. It can't be tea. I got it. The guy in the turban on the airplane. Yeah, he must have switched the stuff. Yeah. Well, we'll get it from him. It won't take a minute. Yeah, we'll be right back. Promise you won't go away. Can we bring you anything? You know, corned beef sandwich, fried rice sundae, chow mein pizza, rare. <laughs> be right back. Be right back. Right back. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, we just received word the Russians are going to attempt a landing on the moon within 48 hours. Is the rocket operative? Everything is ready, sir. Alert all personnel. Start launching preparations. Yes, sir. Sir, what about them? Them? Oh, them. Yes, I'm afraid we must dispose of them. How are we going to get out of this? You tackle the guys and I'll subdue the girl. Sir, there may be an alternative. Hmm? If these two men were to take the place of the two apes, then we'd be that much ahead in our calculations. Replace the apes? That way our tests would be on human beings instead of animals. Hmm. Gentlemen, you are about to be given the greatest opportunity for immortality ever afforded to men on Earth. In a few moments, that rocket is going to be sent round the moon. And we're going to watch? From the inside. Oh, that's great. You know, I've always wanted to... Inside? Inside the rocket? Precisely. Oh, no, we wouldn't want to take anybody's seat. No, no I think no. you had the wrong kids. My nose bleeds when I put my carpet slippers on. I could, <laughs> no I way. Could. But don't you see? At least you can die like heroes. No, nah, but we're too old to die. If you only knew our real ages... <clears throat> why, he... Prepare them for flight. Prepare, prepare for, for flight. flight. Oh, prepare, prepare for, for flight. flight. Oh! <laughs> Stop! They won't get away. Remember, baby. Get those apes out of their space suits. Uh-oh, 
Dead end. Hey, this way. Okay. Must be some way out of this trap. Here, let's get into these things. Huh? Looks like Liberace's underwear. Oh, these are underwater diving suits. Don't walk to Hong Kong. No stopovers. I'm going straight on through to San Francisco. Hmm. How you doing there? Okay, but this guy must have had pretty long arms. He could tie his shoelaces without bending over. I think my guy must have had his transmission lowered. Hey, you got your own rumble seat here. Who that? Who followed me then? Oh, get your, the hat. Did your girdle slip? Get your hat. Let's get out of here. Oh, this guy wasn't exactly a perfume salesman either. My guy had a few friends. Come on, let's go. Hey, I can't straighten up. A regular cement jungle gym. Is it? Hey, this way. Yeah. Over here. There's no door, no handle. How do we get out of here? This way. Whoa. Whoa. So, is the rocket prepared for launching? We're at the ready, sir. Activate the countdown. Attention, this is a final warning to all personnel. The rocket is operational. Begin your countdown. Yeah, why do you suppose they're sending us up? They want to find out if it's going to be safe for the apes. Oh. Two, one, zero. Their bodies are now subject to the tremendous pull of gravitational force. Help. Have you got a headache? I would have, but I haven't got room for it. Ooh. Help. What is their position now? Excellent. Altitude 120 miles. They've escaped the Earth's gravitational pull. What provision has been made to guarantee the men's comfort and tranquility? We didn't have time to change the equipment, sir. Unfortunately, they'll have to use the same tranquilizing devices that we planned for the apes. Put them into operation. Yeah. Uncharted magnetic field. Their tranquilizing machines may go out of sequence. Satisfactory, sir. Their altitude is 23,800 miles. 
Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? You are now in the upper stratosphere, on course and proceeding to your destination. You may feel free to walk about and engage in any normal activity. This case, this bullet, huh? This thing must be running on the rim. Hey, look. What's that? Could be my stomach. Buck up, boy. Buck up. Don't press it. Rocket's going off course. It angled straight for the moon. Will it crash? Do something, Zorb. Do something. Try, sir. Try. Hey, what's that big white thing coming at us? That's the moon. I wonder if this thing has an emergency cord. Well, now stop worrying. If we get to the moon first, we'll clean up on real estate, boy. You've got to change course. That blue nuclear is dangerous. It can affect them mentally. Hell, you better cover up. This stuff's awful bright. The square root of 17 times x to the 22nd power over the quotient of y yeah. plus 4 d. Get away yeah. from there. Huh? What? What is that stuff you were saying? Stuff? Oh, we're getting closer. The mechanical gyrations. I think we're going to crash. Well done, Zorb. Now then, bring them back to Earth. Right, sir. Show me their probable point of re-entry. Are you sure you can keep track of them, Zorb? Hmm, let's see. 98 degrees solar longitude, 48 degrees spatial latitude. There we are. They're heading right for Hong Kong. Uh -huh. Release the parachute. Submarine B, embark immediately. 